Welcome to Wargroove. The very first Felmheim mission is actually pretty simple once you know what's going to happen ahead of time. I recommend playing it through first yourself so you get a feel for the triggers and the flow of the game. It's a lot of fun. But if you want to get that S rank on hard mode, here's how you do it. First off, Wolfar can talk to his friend anywhere in this big square. So we actually don't have to stand next to him, we can stand right here to trigger the cutscene. Now Toki will say that we have to free their friend over here. Now doing so will obliterate all these troops over here for us, so it doesn't really make any sense to fight them right now. Instead, we're just going to move up and forward as much as humanly possible, keeping our troops nice and safe, maybe baiting a little bit, and that's it. That's really all we can do. Except on top. On top, we have to consider a lot of things. Now, we want the archers and the alchemists to survive at all costs. They're going to be what get the twins through as quickly as possible. This giant, all these units, they're going to get baited out by Wolfar. There's only going to be a skeleton crew, ha ha ha, left in the castle. So the idea is we want these to help trip down the walls faster, and these to keep the twins high on health. The dogs are sacrificial, and so are the pikes, but we don't want them to die just yet because they can help us get through this bit a little bit faster. Okay, if we're clear on everything, let's move forward. So we want to stay out of their range as much as possible while still doing big damage. It's not that hard to do. You just have to be a little bit careful, thinking about what the twins are going to attack, and then move everybody else up forward. And that's it. That's it for Wolfar. The twins immediately want to get very aggressive. But they can't risk endangering the lives of their beloved troops. Or can they? So, for the most part, we're going to stay pretty careful. Pretty back. We're not going to do anything too crazy, and we're going to let them come to us. This thief can give Wolfar some much-needed gold, but if we go for the gold, well, let's just say we're going to take some heavy damage. Swords do a lot of damages to thieves, but they will survive. They will survive if we're careful about this. So let's be careful, ransack the village, and end our turn. You see, we just managed to survive. And the twins take damage, but not too much. Instead, the enemy is preparing for an attack against us. Alright. Wolfar can pretty easily chow down and do tons of damage to these incoming troops without fail. Now, I'm not too worried about the pike and the dog, so we'll just leave Mr. Pike City Pike here for now. Because I don't want to lose him. But I want the income. Yeah, income matters more to me than this pike, to be completely honest. Alright, we're good. Now, let's take a look over here. We need to consider where everyone is going to stand. The archer is a big threat, and so is this alchemist. We want twins and pike in front, blocking as much as they can. So, let's start dealing some damage. Wolfar can go in pretty deep here and the twins can take this space next to them. However, this pike is not going to make it to block off this side. Someone else has to do it. Or we have to expose our pike to that side, which isn't great. So we're going to lose something if we attack into this, and we kind of just have to accept that. Let's prepare for an attack by weakening this so that something else can take it out and the twins can press forward. Speaking of something else, we can use this pike. And now we can deal big damage here. Our alchemist is in a bit of danger, but we're still okay. The twins have to stand there, which unfortunately means that someone is going to have to take this awkward spot or we lose the dog. Unfortunately, I think we lose the dog. Alright, that's it for Wolfar. Let's do big damage to the knight, but stay where we are. And the twins can finish off this alchemist here. 
The knight will most certainly attack the twins, that's fine. And we'll keep our units nice and healthy. Though, again, we'll probably lose that dog. Everybody comes forward for the big attack. I don't know if this is the optimal way to play it, but it works. And as long as we get that S rank. Okay. As expected, the twins take some big damage, and the dog does too, but it survives. We lose that pike that I didn't really care about so much. And everyone else is fine, so great attack. Okay. So, we're pretty much free to finish off this aggressor. And we do it as fast as possible to save the friend immediately. Now we have to get back in Tolkien's range, and since Wolfar is already able to just walk back here, we save a turn. Hey. These units are immediately distracted, tricked, whatever it is, they're gone. Now we need to get that Rax as quick as we can with the power of Wolfar. But in the meantime, up here, we have a match to finish, so let's finish it. Now we can have our archer stay here to get a good crit on this fellow. And finish him off like that. And then Pike can go into Knight for a very smooth attack. Alright, the twins can wrap the rest of that up. I think we're good to go. We could build a thief for Wolfar to take this for us. But we already have a thief and a rifleman might be a little bit more useful. So let's save up our gold for now. Alright, we're back to the twins and it's going to be pretty easy to just finish this mess off. We want to press forward as quickly as possible. So, let's have our archer move forward first, and destroy this that's in our way. Now the twins can start working on this gate ASAP. We can easily sweep up the remaining units. And march forward. Our pikes and the twins are going to form a line that we'll use to kind of march into this room eventually. And of course we give Wolfar tons of gold. This thief can now be used to take that barracks, unless, of course, Wolfar gets there first. Wolfar is just going to rush the barracks. Yeah! There's not a lot of reason not to, even though it triggers Ragna and we could have waited a turn for the thief. I kind of want to distract Ragna as quick as we can for the sake of the twins. Let's go ahead and build that marksman immediately. Now on top, there isn't really a lot to do. We move our troops forward, and we don't have enough gold to heal the twins right now, and we don't really need to either. So we're just marching forward as much as we can, and maybe putting troops in a sort of sane formation. The twins now can use their extremely deadly fire. The problem is, if we do, we might just end up destroying ourselves, so we're not going to do that quite yet. The twins are merely going to knock down the door and let everybody in and start moving forward with the pikes. I'm going to march my archers forward and plan to heal as soon as humanly possible. Now, like I said, the dogs are a bit cannon fodder. I'm going to put one here just to start baiting things over. And the thief is going to go right into position to snag that Rax on its next turn. All right, everybody, everybody, everybody is coming for us. Got to be a little bit careful. Now, since the thief can take the Rax... Wolfar does not need to, but I'm going to attack it anyway just to start building his groove. We're going to march everybody forward. And use our hard-earned gold on the twins. We can't really move forward right now without ramming ourselves into this. So I think... But I, I do want to start baiting things down here to be eaten alive by fire. So we're going to use the dog as bait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dog. Please forgive me. Let's end our turn here. And now the thief can easily steal this Rax. Nice. With that decapped, we'll definitely be able to bait Ragna forward. And I can use the twins to start aggressing. Now, I'm going to stand in the corner here so that I don't mistakenly die. And we're going to start a great big fire right there.
Alright, the archers will be in a great position to attack anything that comes for me. I want to start doing damage a little bit early. So... Mm, but the dogs can be a little bit useful later, the pike's less so. You know what? I'm going to switch that with a pike. And I think we're good. Let's end our turn here. The twins have taken some damage, but they're fine, and that fire will start to smolder. Alright, we've baited out Ragna. Now all her troops are going to come forward to start messing with Wolfar. I'm going to just go ahead and capture this barracks. We're going to use it to build things that we can golf over to the twins to help them out. Maybe. It depends on the situation. In the meantime, everyone in Wolfar's troop is just going to march forward. Alright. On this side of the map, we can use our archer to start dealing some damage. I'm going to actually move this pike out of the way so I can go for the further dog. And I'm not going to spend money on the twins just yet, because there might be a better way I can help them. Okay, the configuration there is spreading. And I want to trick the enemies into standing next to it. So, we are going to start moving our troops forward in a way to make the enemies stand on the fire. Now my entire front is next to the fire, so if you want to fight me, that's where you have to stand. Ha 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 ha. And the twins can heal themselves up. Very nice. Very nice. But we can't break this gate until the giants leave. That's very important. Alright. Well, I knew that was coming, but the alchemist just has to have enough health to survive. And besides, look where that archer is standing. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that's gonna be great. We've baited them perfectly. All right, the golf master is a ready to golf. That being said, we're not going to tee off just yet. We're going to start causing some havoc. We need to bait Ragna over here. So let's bring Wolfar forward to start attacking some stuff. I'm going to build like a hmm. I'm going to build a sword. Move the pike forward. In retrospect, I probably should have done this before I attacked it, but yeah, it didn't go down anyway. All right, we're good. I think that's it for Wolfar. Um, no, no, I can kill this. Yeah, the twins don't really need Groove again, so I don't have to worry about that so much. They don't need heals right now. We're good. We are good. All right, this has been a solid opening. Now the twins have obliterated these ones with fire. And we want them to jump, jump, jump over this quick as they can. Let's get out of the fire, guys. Nice. All right, great use of fire groove. I just hope that we're not slowed down by this mess, that Wolfar can bait them out in time. Meantime, the thief is going back. We could use wagons to speed up this thiefing a little bit, but honestly, it's just not worth the build. All right, the giants are getting baited out. We just need Ragna to get baited a little more. They are on their way. Yeah, so I can't really help out the twins, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's start golfing. I'm just trolling them as much as possible to force them to come over here. And start fighting me instead of Ragna. It's the plan, at least. No, I don't need to do that because the archer can take it out, but then that'll be hit by that. Okay, we'll do this. No, wait, no, that's, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I messed that up. That's fine. All right, we're going to make another sword. Notice I'm, I'm not actually trying to win this fight. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to bait them over here. This is a heist, right? I'm the diversion. That, that's our role in this, guys. We are the diversion. Know your role. Wolfar is not the main force here. We're just pretending to be. The twins are the real heroes of this story. Alright, there's the fire, but that's okay. We left plenty of time to get out of dodge. And I'm going to put some nice cooling water right here. 
Or, or we could try to burn those guys. We could try to burn those guys. That, that, that would probably just cause us more harm than good. So let's drop some water here so that we can all heal up. It won't affect the gate, so we can attack that pretty freely. And get all of my units into the nice cooling water. Yeah, Wolfar might lose an archer there, but it wasn't going to cross there anyway. Alright, Thief is almost home. Yeah, I forgot to block for that guy. It's okay, it's okay, we're, we're just the diversion. We're just the diversion. We just need them to get a little bit more forward. A little bit more. A little bit more. Really, I'm just trying to charge Groove as fast as I can without, like, losing Wolfar. That's the one thing I can't do. Wolfar must not die. Okay. Um... Yeah, the heal won't really matter, but we'll bring the Alchemist across. Oh, right, it's not the start of the Twins' turn yet, so we're safe there. They just can't they just can't do much. We don't need to build our escape wagon yet, but we're going to do that eventually. Let's build instead... I'm thinking a Pike. It's pretty defensive. Maybe an Alchemist to heal up Wolfar, I don't know. I think we'll be all right. Okay, this is good for Wolfar's turn. Nice. These dudes are just going to heal themselves. And the twins break the gate. I'm just not sure if I want to do it yet. Ragna isn't clear of the courtyard. But I think we've distracted her enough. Yeah, and we, we didn't even take it out, so that's fine. And the thief can finally deliver some hard-earned gold to Wolfar. Nice. Nice. Alright, we'll definitely want the archer in place to take that out, take these guys out. The twins need to try to move a little bit faster now, because we are on the clock. This is a heist, after all. Yeah, I knew that attack was happening, but that's okay. They're just giving me groove and getting distracted, which is what I want. Ooh, that's a little bit dangerous, though, so we are going to have to back off. Alright, we're still responsible for baiting these guys out, but Wolfar... Wolfar ain't looking too good. So we're gonna want to retreat Wolfar quite a bit. Now, unfortunately, my, um, mm, my poor troops are not looking as nice as they could either. Let's... Ooh, but then I'm exposing myself to the alchemist. It's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. Because we can just do that. Yeah. Meh. Eeny, meeny, miny, that. Cool. Alright. Wolfar does not have to run away yet. So, I don't need my escape wagon just yet. Let's instead continue to reinforce this position with some more pikes. Alright. Up top, I mean, we pretty much got it covered. I guess we can just use our monies to heal up the twins and friends. Cool. Always keep your allies nice and healthy. Now, I want the twins to run through here. So, let's just take that out with archers. Alright, hopefully I didn't do that too soon, because if Ragnar runs back, we could be in trouble. And we're immediately going to start attacking, doing tons of damage. This is where we get a little bit reckless, because we need to push through, and I mean yesterday. And the twins have to stand there. Alright, this thief can come on back. Not that there's a lot going on for it. Now we've triggered this barracks, we gotta be a little bit careful there, but hopefully all the troops come down here to bother Wolfar and leave the twins alone. That's all I care about. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're coming for Wolfar. Good. Okay, finish that off. And start pecking away at this golem as much as we can. We even go golfing, why not? Time to take a hammering. Big damage. Get pike crit in there. 
and then just keep laying on the pikes. I'm going to save a little bit of gold because, like before, I want everybody nice and healthy. This pike can't attack anything, so it's not that useful, so I'm going to put it here on the twins instead. Keep them nice and high on health. I'll march these dudes forward. It really doesn't matter, though. They're not going to make it in time. And this pike gets a little bit of love. Ooh. No, actually, yeah, let's let's attack this pike, get a crit. Nice. All right. We are going to have to start building that wagon soon, but not yet. We're still good. All right, let's end our turn here. Now that archer moved into the perfect position for the twins to grab the chest and take out the archer. All right, the escape vehicles have been deployed. And now we need to get the heck out of here. Let's take a look. The dog does 15 to this. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, we can't do better. So let's go ahead. Nice. We're going to start bringing all our dudes down quick as we can. Um, the alchemist can heal itself or attack the pike. I'm going to elect to heal itself and this pike. I'm not sure that's going to make a difference, but let's keep everyone as healthy as we can. All right, end our turn. Now, we've triggered Valder by taking the treasure. Ragnar. So, Valder is going to start harassing us, and we've got to be ready for that. Yeah, they took that out, they took that out, they're coming for me. That's fine, though. We just have to make sure we can get out of here on time. Okay, so we've, we've taken a little bit of damage. I'm going to go ahead and remove this golem from play. And just, oh yeah, you need to recharge. All right, get back over here, reload. Now this harpy is a little bit annoying and I don't want to deal with it, so we're going to make our escape wagon. And let's look up here. Yeah, there, there's nothing I can do up here. Not really. I'm going to move here. I don't have enough money to heal anybody, so we'll just attack this pike. That's fine. Okay. I think that's all we can do. Um, I, I want to be careful moving Wolfar that he can't get assassinated by mistake. But I think we can just reinforce here. And then we'll wagon him to safety on the next turn. And the Harpy will not be able to block us in time. We're good. Okay. Wolfar is out. Now we need the twins to escape. Hmm. One, two, three, four. The twins need to take out this door. And then I'd like things to run through it as quickly as possible. So the dog, unfortunately, has to move out of the way because it's blocking us, but that's fine. Twins take door. Unless we were very unlucky there, that was definitely going to happen. It'll still take them two turns, however, to get to the boat. And I don't want these skellies to block me. So, uh, let's see. They cannot block me presently, but I'm going to stand. Can I stand there? Yeah, I can stand there pretty safely. And just just get ready, I guess. Get ready, we're going in soon. Alright, cool. Hopefully the twins will get out in two turns. This harpy will not be able to stand in our way, so I'll just take this out, because why not? Yeah, they're able to sweep me here, but I really don't care. Wolfar was always just the diversion. We don't need to win this fight. The first time I played it through, I won every fight, and I was dominating, and I could have wiped Felheim off the map if I wanted, but it was way too slow. So if you're going for that S rank, you need to get out of dodge. Poof, he's gone. Wolfar has evacuated. All right, now let's get the twins through as quick as we can. We're good, and we'll just snipe that for the funsies. Cool, okay, twins, gotta get out of dodge. I'm gonna put them in the middle so that they definitely have the most possible paths to the boat. And since I can stand in fire, I can put fire here and guarantee that I can stand in that spot and get to the boat without dying. Pretty cool, right? It's really weird to think that I'm burning my own escape path, but trust me, it makes sense. That's, 
I am doing the correct thing here. I am doing the correct thing. And I can block off this space too. Just like, this is way too cautious, but I'm just making sure I can escape as soon as possible. Yeah, that thief is dead. I, I can just end my turn. Alright. Now they're able to wipe me off the map, but I don't care. Wolfar's out. We're out. We're good. Aha, he's standing right in the fire. My wagon! Valder's coming, but it's okay. That's what makes this a heist. You have to run away at the end of a heist. I mean, I don't need to do anything with Wolfar, so I won't. Let there be fire. And we're good. We are good. Alright, we escaped. Let's see how we did. Victory, S rank, in a mere 14 turns. Not bad, not bad at all. This was a fun map. I want to play this map, but actually wipe Felmheim off the map. I, I wonder if you just completely wipe them, if there's something special that happens. Like, we, we gotta do an Easter egg hunt after we finish all the S's. I, I, I want to hunt for some Easter eggs. Alright, I hope you enjoyed getting all three stars in an S rank. That's all for now, and welcome to Wargroove.